Hi, this is episode 17 of Movie Review Time. And this movie today is one of my all-time favorites. I don't even know how old I was when I first saw this, but I have loved it ever since. I was very young when this movie came out, maybe like nine years old. And it is fantastic. It is the movie High Spirits. Do, 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 Okay, so High Spirits. Um, what I'm gonna do is I've started writing my own movie review. Um, if a movie doesn't have any notes or quotes that I necessarily think are fantastic, then I will write my own review. So that's what I did with this one. High Spirits, 1988, rated PG-13, 99 minutes long, starring, and this is the best part, starring Peter O'Toole, Steve Gutenberg, Beverly D'Angelo, Jennifer Tilly, Peter Gallagher, Martin Ferrero, Daryl Hannah, and Liam Neeson. IMDb describes it as when a hotelier attempts to fill the chronic vacancies at his castle by launching an advertising campaign that falsely portrays the property as haunted, two actual ghosts show up and end up falling for two guests. The estimated budget for this film was $17 million. Opening weekend in the U.S. was $3 million, and that was November 20th, 1988. The gross in the U.S. and worldwide was only $8 million. So they didn't do so hot. Okay, so I'm going to read you the back of the DVD. Then I'm going to read you my review, and then my favorite review that I found on IMDb. Okay, back of the film says, Daryl Hannah... For Jack, it was love at first sighting. Daryl Hannah, Peter O'Toole, and Steve Gutenberg star in this gleefully ghoulish comedy sparkling with romance and rollicking with supernatural special effects. Written and directed by Neil Jordan, who also did Interview with the Vampire, apparently, and co-starring Beverly D'Angelo, Jennifer Tilly, Peter Gallagher, and Liam Neeson, High Spirits is the most fun you'll have in this world or the next. Impoverished Peter Plunkett, played by O'Toole, hatches the perfect plan to save his debt-ridden Irish castle. Lure American tourists by advertising the place is haunted. But when Peter and his staff don sheets and chains to go a-haunting, they scare up more than paying guests. They arouse the real ghosts of Castle Plunkett. And when American tourist Jack, played by Gutenberg, spies a gorgeous ghost named Mary, played by Hannah, it's love at first sighting. Now all Jack has to worry about is Mary's murder, spook of a husband, and their 200-year age difference. Da-da-da! da 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 Okay, so. My review. The entire movie is great. It's absolutely beautiful. The acting is great. The storyline is fun. I've always loved this movie. I had the biggest crush on Steve Gutenberg after watching this film. So basically, Peter O'Toole is trying to save his castle slash hotel. He concocts this idea that he and the staff would pretend the castle is haunted. Martin Ferrero, who plays the blood-sucking lawyer who gets eaten off the toilet by the T-Rex in the movie Jurassic Park, is a ghost hunter. A group of Americans show up at the castle in Ireland to find out what the fuck. It turns out the hotel is really haunted, and two Americans fall in love with two ghosts. And Jennifer Tilly and Peter Gallagher, a priest, fall in love, and Peter Gallagher decides to ditch the priesthood. Okay, so, my favorite review. Gave it 10 out of 10 stars on May 1st, 2008 by Sleeping Dragon. The title of the review is amazing. What the hell? It's quirky, and yeah, okay, not always highly acted. But I utterly love this movie. It is hilarious, and Peter O'Toole is magical. Truly a must for sitting down and watching on a cold, wet evening. Set in Ireland, it does prove to be a little on the stereotypical side toward 
towards the Irish, but again, who cares? Whiting bisque, etc. Some of the effects are a little on the dodgy side, but with Peter O'Toole acting as brilliantly as ever, they seem unimportant. I saw this movie when I was 10 or so, and I always loved it. Remember the scene with the nuns gave me a few nightmares as a child. Funny to rewatch and see how things seem now in adulthood. The end. I highly recommend this film. It's very good and it's fun. And that's it. Bye.